Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going to be going over string functions in Tableau. Uh, so you can see I'm connected to the order sample uh, superstore data source that's included with Tableau as kind of a, just a sample uh, data set. Here I've got the dimensions and the measures and I'm going to show you how to manipulate strings uh, in, with your calculations. So first I'm going to show you how you can extract uh, different values from a string. So here you can see I've got CA dash year and then there's an identifier after that. So let's try and extract these three different values with different functions in Tableau. So I'm going to go to order ID, I'm going to right click that, I'm going to go create, I'm going to go calculated field. All right, so I'm going to make this a little smaller because I don't need that much room. And then you can see if I click here, you can go to string and you can see all the string functions that Tableau has available. First I'm going to do the left function. So you can see that returns a specified number of characters from the start of the given string and they give you example left. Calculation 4 gives you the first four characters there which is C-A-L-C. -C. So if I want to extract the first two characters of this order ID, all I have to do is do left, parenthesis, the order ID uh, is the string that I need. The number of characters is two, because you see there's two characters before that, dash. If I go ahead and click OK, and then I'm going to pull that calculation in. You can see it extracted just those first two characters. Now I'm going to change that. Let's say I want to extract now the last six characters here, so the stuff after the last dash. Well, there's a left function, there's also a right function. And as you would expect, it does something similar except it starts from the right. So I'm going to put in right, and it's going to take, and I'm going to put in six, and that will take the last six characters of the string. Go ahead and apply that, and you can see it's updated uh, so that now you've got these last six characters. Now a little bit more tricky is what if I want this middle bit here, and there's actually a function that's called mid, which means middle. So here you have to specify your string and a start position, and how many characters you want after that start position optionally. So we're going to do mid, we're going to do order ID. The start is, so it's one, two, three is the dash, and then we want to start on the four. And if you don't put in the length, then it'll just go to the end of the string, but we just want those four characters in the middle, so we're going to do a length of four. And if we go ahead and apply that, you can see now we've got that middle part. All right, so that works great if you know where those splits are going to happen, uh, which character exactly. But if you don't know that, let's say this first part can be two characters, it can be three characters, it can be four characters. Uh, there is a split method that will split it up and take whichever part you want. So we're going to do split. And then the string is still the order ID. The delimiter means what's separating the different parts of the string that you want. And we have to put that in quotations. That's the slap, the, the dash character there. And then which one do I want? Do I want the first one, second one, or third one? Uh, for this, I'm going to take the second one. So I'm going to take that 2015. So I'll go ahead and apply that. And you can see it's still 2015. If I grab the third one and apply it, you can see it's that last part. Um, with the split, you also have the option of counting from the end uh, over, like you did with the right function. So if I put in a negative 2, I will go negative 1, negative 2, it'll be this uh, second one from the right. Let's apply that, and you can see I got 2015. If I wanted to get 
the third one from the right, then I put in negative three. And if I wanted to get that, whatever the last one is, then I can put in a negative one. And there you go. So those are uh, one, uh, functions where you can extract different parts of a, of a string. You can also look at what is contained within a string. So there is a contains function. Contains. This will give you a true false if it does contain that. So first you give the string. So let's put in order ID again. And the substring, let's say uh, CA. So if I apply this, uh, for these it should be true because it has CA. And let's, and you can see this one has US, so it's not true. Uh, you could also put in 2015 and apply that, and you can see it's true where there's a 2015 in there. Um, if you use this on uh, a string, sometimes you have to be careful because if you put in like cat, anything that contains the word cat will be included. So example category will also be true if you just put in cat as your substring. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, contains, there's also a starts with. So if we want to find the ones that start with CA, this will give you a true false. And you can see the ones that have US in front of them are showing false. So with a true false, you could combine that with an if. So if starts with this, then put in, let's put in the sales. So then this would just be the sales for anything that starts with CA. If you apply that, you can see you get the sales numbers where there's a CA, but you don't get the sales numbers where there's a US. Or you could do ends with as well. So if it ends with, let's change this up. Let's do uh, customer name. So if it ends with Bergman, then I'm going to put in the sales. So you can see for Aaron Bergman here, we've got the sales for him. I don't think there's any other Bergmans in this data set, so we're not getting sales for those. So if you need a true false as a filter or at, used as part of an if statement or something like that, you can use these uh, starts with, contains, ends with, etc. Um, some other interesting functions. Uh, length will tell you how many characters there are in the string. Um, so if I go length of customer name and apply that. So there's 13 characters in this name. I guess there's 14 in this one, 15, etc. There's also a trim functions. So this will remove leading and trailing spaces, uh, which is sometimes when people enter things into a spreadsheet or something, they do things without knowing it, like putting these spaces on there. Also, uh, replace. So if you need to replace any part of a string, you can do that by putting in the string and then giving the replacement that you, uh, what you want to find and then what you want to replace with it. Uh, right trim is, is the same, it just trims any uh, lagging spaces. And then the trim will do uh, both sides. Uh, the upper and lower function, uh, so if for some reason you want to put everything in uppercase, this function will do that, so it converts everything to uppercase. Uh, there's also a lowercase function. Uh, I use this sometimes when I'm doing uh, different relationships between tables because it's not always consistent whether people do capitalization or lowercase. 
consistently, but if it's spelled the same way, then you can still join it. If you use upper and lower to create a calculated field used for the join. And then a um, bunch of window functions. I won't go into those today. I think that's a good spot to end. So I hope you guys learned um, some things about string functions and hope you can use it in your work on Tableau. All right, thank you very much.